Saves people a lot of money working with a basement waterproofing company before a lot of they headaches. remodel. Yeah. A lot of headaches, wasn't it? Yep. And, and ahead of time, instead of having to have to pull your thing back up. That's correct. Because you got to pull the wall apart, the floor back up. That's a lot of headaches. It is. Carpet, whatever it might be, right? Yep, and we're saving we're saving the air quality of their home, too, because, uh, you know, when you get water in a basement and it touches all that uh, organic material, studding, drywall, insulation, backing, paper, etc., the big M comes next, mold. Hey, this is Bob Carr with the Bob Carr Show. In the studio today, I got Jim from Value Dry. Jim, what brings you in here today to talk? Well, I'm in here to talk about our partnership with TLC and uh, to talk about how yard drainage will have an effect on basement waterproofing issues that people are experiencing in their homes and crawl spaces across our territories. So, Jim, let's talk about crawl spaces and basements. What what does a typical homeowner see and why do you guys get the phone call to start with? That's a great question. Um, often, I like to say that uh, no, nobody lies in bed dreaming about their uh, sump pump or their interior French drain or their crawl space encapsulation system like they would a, a kitchen or remodel or a bathroom remodel. Oftentimes, 90% of the time, folks call us because They've got water in their basement after a big rainstorm or uh, maybe another vendor or technician crawls into their crawl space and they say, wow, your, your crawl space is flooded out. When water makes its way into a foundation and, and the homeowner realizes that they have a leaking foundation or crawl space, that's when they give us a call. The other 10% is when somebody is thinking about building that man cave or that um, theater room in their basement and they want to protect that investment um, and, and make sure they're not throwing their money away uh, just to you know get wet and, uh, and get ruined by a rainstorm. I gotcha, yep. I gotcha. So you guys, uh, how's 2023 looking? It's springtime now and you guys I'm sure are backed up like crazy with work. Yes, we are. Uh, 2023 started off as a, a, a wet year. We're getting a lot of calls. And also uh, people are realizing that with COVID or, or with the market that they need to maximize the space that they have. So a lot of folks are looking to remodel their basements, potentially add bedrooms in their basements. We do egress windows as well so that folks can, can actually call that, uh, that new bedroom in their basement a bedroom, making sure that somebody can crawl out when they need to. And then obviously we wanna make sure that that egress window doesn't leak when it rains. That's true, that's true. I never realized you guys did that. Yeah, yeah. Egress windows, uh, basement waterproofing systems. There has to be a drain at the bottom of the egress window so that that egress window doesn't leak, leak during uh, heavy rainfall events. And we put that drain in and that leads inside to a sump pump. And, you know, sump pumps operate off of electricity. So we install battery backup sump pumps. We even have a smart sump pump that will alert folks via an app if they happen to be on vacation or at the beach. So those smart pumps, um, you know, will help pe keep basements dry. I mean, give, give folks a peace of mind then if they can see it on their phone. That's right. We like to call it a dry basement peace of mind no matter where they're at. Sure. That makes sense. Yeah. But that, I'm really hung up on that. And I think it's a great thing that you guys are doing those windows because that holds up a lot of people from uh, uh, getting their basement, turning it in either to a man cave or extra bedroom because they, didn't, they don't know who they can get to do a window and then do it properly because anybody could maybe cut out a window you know uh, uh around the center block but you got to put that drain in there and that's got to be a big hold up for a lot of folks a lot of contractors so yes, that's great that you guys do that and that's a turnkey deal it certainly is we uh you know we often do get calls uh of folks that just remodeled their basement spent hundreds of thousands of dollars remodeling the basement putting a, a man cave in or a theater room adding a bedroom and they'll give us a call they'll be like we just you know remodeled this whole place and put this bedroom in and, and now this egress window Ooh. is leaking Ooh. so you know we just wrote a blog um and put it on on our website talking about just that you know why have a remote a basement waterproofing company install your egress window it's to make sure it doesn't leak and we'll make sure we put that link to your blog underneath this video so folks can uh, tap it and, and take a look and read this. Yeah, I appreciate that. A lot that. of people saves, wouldn't realize that. Saves people a lot of money working with a basement waterproofing company before a lot of they remodel. Yeah. A lot of headaches, wasn't it? Yep. And, and ahead of time, instead of having to have to pull your thing back up. That's correct. Because you got to pull the wall apart, the floor back up. That's a lot of headaches. It is. Carpet, whatever it might be, right? Yep, and we're saving, we're saving the air quality of their home, too, because... Uh, 
you know, when you get water in a basement and it touches all that uh, organic material, studding, drywall, insulation, backing paper, etc., the big M comes next, mold. You know, mm. so we really work to uh, never stop fighting. In fact, our promise is to never stop fighting the damaging effects of, uh, of water and moisture uh, via foundation seepage for our customers. So when you guys go and take a look at a site the first time that there is damage, you guys can come in there and, and, and tell the folks what's going on with the air quality? That's right. We come in and, and if we see water damaged material, nine times out of 10, we have to tear that water damaged material out in order to install our systems. I gotcha. Jim, we appreciate you coming in. I hope you come back later this summer. And we'll do another podcast together. That was some great information. And I'm glad you had the time today to share that with our listeners out there. And we'll make sure we'll have your contact information underneath this video and in your blog's uh, link to your blog. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Jim. This wraps up another episode of The Bob Carr Show. And we'll talk to you next week in another edition of The Bob Carr Show.